Hey, uh, so I wanted to ask uh, maybe a little bit of an offbeat question, but uh, you know, fans are coming back uh, tomorrow. And uh, so, so with that in mind, I wanted to ask about NCAA tournament seedings because you know, if you get a really good seed, you, you, you can probably go San Diego, San Francisco in the tournament and have a lot of fans there. Uh, how important is that? How much are you, are you, you know, thinking about that and, and, and how much of a boost would that be? <laughs> I haven't thought of, I have no idea that wherever you just said the tournament locations are, I, I did not know that. Um, haven't thought about it at all. I'm thinking about strategy. Um, my team and our practice, we got three games this week. Um, and to be honest with you, Ben, man, man you, you know, uh, I'm just hoping we make the NCAA tournament and, uh, and we're healthy. But uh, to your point, I mean, like that would all be great. I mean, I'm not discounting it. It'd be great. I know I used to, uh, I, I remember talks I had with Ben Hallen, uh, a friend of mine, uh, you know, he used to talk about the importance of the things you're alluding to. Um, but that's the furthest. I mean, that's all great, but it had, I have zero control over any of that. So we just, you know, I just try to say focused on on my team. But that's the stuff my dad thinks about, man. He's all <laughs> that stuff. But I've reprimanded him so much, he doesn't bring it up to me. But I, but I know he talks about it, you know, all the time, so. And just uh, getting to Arizona now, um, obviously a huge challenge. They're so good top to bottom. Um, what do you see as kind of the, the biggest things that you need to go well for UCLA to win this game? We got to score more points than them, <laughs> no. uh, which is going to be a task. Um, you know, they're good in all phases, you know, so they can beat you with their defense. They can beat you with their offense and they can also beat you with their rebounding. So, um, you know, the thing that sticks out to me the most is uh, when I got the job Ben, in the spring of what was it, 19, uh, I went out to Sierra Canyon and uh, I remember seeing uh, Coloco uh, and, you know, he was there. They were all working out. Obviously, I was watching young guys. Um, and meeting with Coach Chevalier. But anyway, um, his development for two years under Sean uh, and now, you know, now with uh, Tommy, uh, like he, he's, he has become a pro prospect. And uh, what I learned in my time is when I was very young and had a full head of hair with Coach Huggins, size around the rim eliminates mistakes uh, we had it at Cincinnati a lot, um, you know, when we had it with Kenyon Martin. And we had two one year. We were number one in the country all year. A guy named Jermaine Tate, whose son plays for the Rockets, and Kenyon Martin, whose son plays for the Rockets. It's uh, ironic. But anyway, um, you know, that that I learned that quick. You know, it, mat it matters. Size matters. You know, shot blocking matters. UConn did it with Jim Calhoun forever. Um, so they can beat you with their rebounding and their size. Um, different ways to win games. But, uh, you know, I would say Coloco's improvement, oh, since I saw him at Sierra Canyon uh, to now, really, really stands out to me. And, and then one, just to follow up, I don't want to hog all the time here, but um, they're, 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 are, are they playing differently under Coach Lloyd now, would you say, or are guys just developed more and the team's become more veteran? Well, Sure. I mean, Coach Lloyd has his own style um, of the things they do offensively and defensively, just from a stylistic standpoint. Um, but you're looking at a team that's gotten better. You know, <clears throat> they got sophomores and juniors. Um, you know, I knew last year when we were playing them that they, they, they were going to be a problem this year. You know, you could just see they were close. They were just a little too young. They couldn't sustain the whole 40 minutes. Um, there was no doubt, you know, that, uh, you know, Sean made a concerted effort to get away from the one and done and uh, to get some guys that were going to be there. Um, you know, and then Katami's obviously added Larson and Ballo in the portal. See, the portal allows you to really, um, and I'm not sure, it, um, number five career, I think, it, it, I'm not, I don't want to mess his name up, but he's really good. So they've, they added three guys via the portal to uh, guys that were taught how to win and went through the rigors. They were a tournament team last year. 
Um, but you know, they've obviously gone to a whole new level, um, with that. So, uh, you know, guys get better and they improve and obviously coach Lloyd's done a tremendous job. All right. We'll go to Tracy Pearson, Bruin Report. Hey, Mick. What's up, man? Um, hey, there are so many compare with Tommy Lloyd. There are so many comparisons with Arizona to Gonzaga. Um, does it does it help you that you've already played Gonzaga in scouting Arizona? Um, what what else do you see that's what do you see that's really similar in a lot of things they do, and what do you see that's that's not similar in what Tommy Lloyd does? It's not similar to Air to to, to Gonzaga. Um, there, what's similar is that they push the pace, um, you know, but I would say, uh, they're a better rebounding team, um, sh and shot blocking team, but, um, they run some stuff that's similar. Um, but, um, you know, their personnel is obviously totally different. You know, Gonzaga is so much plays through Drew Timmy this year, um, you know, where Arizona, I would, you know, you would say Matherin's probably their best offensive player. Um, but I would say that they're they're much more of a balanced team. Uh, Arizona, that is, where you, you kind of know that the Gonzaga, I mean, Gonzaga's got guys can score, but you kind of know they're going to try to go through Timmy in the low post. So that that in that area, they're different. They're more Arizona's more of a um, you know, passing ball movement team even though Gonzaga does it, but they still have the, you know, they had it with Timmy down there. I'd say that separates them the most. Um, Arizona though, really is strong in the paint. I think they're like plus 20 or something in the paint comparatively to their opponents. Uh, how, how do you, how do you match up with that and, and keep them from scoring in the paint? Uh, try not to give up layups. They're not, you know, it's not like they're pounding it in the low post with the Mobley brothers and Chavez Goodwin. Um, so m most of their theirs is off of the, the their offensive flow, um, not off the low. Not now they do, you know, Tublis and Coloco and you know Ballo can they can score in the low post, but they they don't just pound it inside. So that's not how they play. Um, but I would say an underrated factor with them is blocking out. Trace, I, I think, uh, you know, I, I think it's Terry can, re, you know, they, they, cause Matherin rebounds it at the two spot. So uh, whenever a team rebounds the ball at four positions, cause Terry's a long athlete, uh, that's a problem. So with their starting lineup, they, they play four very good offensive rebounders. So that's, a, it, so that adds to their points in the paint. I would say that is their secret weapon offensively. Got it. Thanks, Coach. You got it. All right, let's go to Bruce Pasco, Arizona Daily Star. Yeah. Hi, Mick. My computer won't let the video work for some reason. Sorry about oh, that. Right. I, I can hear you, Bruce. But I was wondering, uh, you know, how do you feel about playing this game on a Tuesday after uh, road trips for both teams? And and would you have liked to play them back on the, you know, that I think oh, that yeah. when, you, when you played Long Beach? Well, to be honest, I'd have liked to play them on a Saturday and had college game day in Westwood. If you're really asking me when I'd have liked to have done it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, if the Pac-12 would have asked me um, my opinion in the summer, which they're not going to, um, and I don't blame them, by the way. They shouldn't be asking any coach. But I gave them my opinion of how good Arizona was going to be. When they got the they got the transfers, had everybody back, hired a good coach. There was to me, there was no doubt that they were going to have a top team in the country. So I would have put in to have the game on a Saturday and tried to have um, college game day because I don't know you, as you. I'm sure you. I, I you know the other both games were scheduled for Thursdays. Right, right. right. And that, am I correct on that? Yeah. So yeah, I believe you're coming to Tucson. To me, I'd have liked to have them on a Saturday where you could have had the game on, on game day. Right. So in the big picture, uh, I mean, it is the biggest, you know, highly ranked opponent you've had in Poly for a few, uh, what, six or seven years. I mean, is that kind of thing in the big uh, – do you pay attention to that? I mean, does it, you know, no. well, when you're talking of all, some Bruce, not, Sorry to interrupt you. We played Villanova to start the season. Okay. 
So, but I mean, well, at least, you know, at least in, you know, with conference things on the line and, and, uh, you know, this kind of, uh, of, of a matchup, I mean, you know, how big do you kind of approach it when you're, you know, you're, you're dealing with day in, day out, every game being big in that sense, you know, I mean, does this game yeah. seem different in that way? Seems different that Arizona is better than most teams are going to play all year. <laughs> so that's, yeah. I mean, you know, but other than that, um, we're going to play again next week. We may play again in March. Um, you could potentially play four more, you know, three more. Um, so uh, the, the thing that's different is they're better than most teams are going to prepare for. Uh, so that, that, that would be the difference to me, but um, you know, I think it's obviously it's great for <clears throat> great for both programs, great for the PAC 12. Um, great for, uh, hopefully it's great for ticket sales for us. Okay. Okay. Great. Thanks. You got it. Let's go back to Ben. Um, I believe you might have mentioned on the radio post game that Tiger's dealing with some kind of uh, thumb issue. Can you uh, update us on that? And uh, would you like him to kind of uh, dictate the tempo and keep it a little bit slower maybe against this Arizona team that likes to run a little bit more? Uh, I'd like Tiger to be at 100%. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, Ben, if anybody is at this point, I'm sure, you know, Arizona's dealing with Tubeless's ankle. Um, you know, they, I, I can't remember which guy. Somebody took a really hard fall for their team yesterday. We have had, you know, Tiger took a hard fall at Utah. So, look, I mean, everybody's banged up a little bit. Um, he, you know, he got, I don't know where he whacked his thumb, but he, he, you know, he's a gang. He's been doing this. So it's not his first time dealing with it. So hopefully he's uh, feeling great on Tuesday night, man. Um, you know, as far as uh, you said, dictating pace. Yeah, you, you know, I, I think uh, deep, your your defense dictates pace. You got to be able to stop them. You know, like for us, we try to run off off of stops. So um, that that would be, you know, so like if you're asking if we stop them, we have four guys that push the ball when we rebound it. So uh, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna change who we are. And then uh, Mathurin, uh, so many people are saying he's right now looking like a, a player of the year candidate. Uh, what what makes him so good, and, and how do you go about uh, uh, stopping him? Well, he can really shoot the ball. He's got size and athleticism. Um, and he's a great offensive rebounder, and, and he's a high-level shooter. So, um, obviously, you don't want to let him catch fire from behind the line. You know, I think they're, they're – there's times, you know, him and Kreese, it can really shoot the ball. So, but, uh, you know, with, with, uh, with Ben, he, he's a high level athlete with size as well. Um, you could see last year, you know, his, that, that he had it. It was just going to be a matter of uh, experience with him. And you're, you know, I, th I don't really look at that stuff, but my staff tells me he's on the draft boards. I could see why with his athleticism and his ability to shoot the ball. But I, I love his offensive rebounding as well. See, guys that go, guys that play hard on, uh, you can tell by the guy like him. He, he, you don't have to tell him to go after the ball. Like when you watch the film, if he if you don't block him out, he's going to get it. All right. Any final questions here for Coach? All right. Let's go to Bruce for one last one. Yeah, hi, hi, Mick. I was just wondering, and maybe you've addressed this with your guys, but uh, but um, just in general, how do you feel like you guys are? Do you feel like you're back after all that that pausing you've done, and and, and does it feel normal with the the team at this point, or you still have a little ways to go? Uh, no, hey, look, man, we're just trying to get better. You know, um, like I, you know, with that stuff, Bruce. Maybe it'll help us later that we uh, did have a you know such a long time out of our gym. Even, you know, we got our, our non-COVID guys when we were deemed in a high-risk situation because we had double digits uh, uh, in COVID. Uh, they even let the, the, like, they locked everybody out that didn't have it. Um, so uh, maybe that'll help us because it saves wear and tear on your body. Maybe that'll help you come March. But I don't know, man. You know, to be honest with you, Bruce, you, you've talked to me enough. I'm not a big excuse guy. So, um Got to find a way to, to get in rhythm and get the job done. Um, you know, so we'll, I, I think everybody's dealing with stuff. Like I said, you, you, you know, 
you know, may, maybe you should say we're fresh because we had a few weeks off. So we should be fresher than other teams. So there's always another side to the coin, right? Um, so we'll see, uh, you know, uh, I, uh, my goal is Bruce, if you can stay healthy, that's the most important thing. And, uh, you know, do everything you can in the regular season to uh, try to win your regular season and get a high seed. Um, but March is what matters.